Rage trying to logic bomb against buying only fan content. What is this? What? What? Oh, well, well, this is the drama of the day. Yeah. XQ cow on. Uh, <laughs> XQ cow on his uh, uh, Aiden Ross arc. <laughs> I saw. I saw. He's just great. Good stuff. His QC. <laughs> Here, let's blast off real quick and then I'll get to that. Can't wait for your analysis of the current arc. XQC on his Aiden Ross arc. XQC on his Andrew Tate arc. I mean, look, dude, <laughs> I'll tell you, Andrew Tate knows his arcs. You know what I mean? He sees somebody, he sees somebody on the, on the, you know, he sees somebody feeling down and he goes in, he goes in for the kill. XQC tweets, just sad lately. That's it. Nothing else. Immediately, Andrew Tate goes, I can fix you. I don't know what to tell you other than this shit, okay? Obviously, if you like Andrew Tate, you look at this and you go, oh man, he's such a wonderful guy. He's just trying to help XQC, okay? And if you don't like Andrew Tate, you look at this and you go, oh, he's once again trying to farm clout off of a random person who he has called gay numerous times by, uh, you know, but it's a mutually beneficial experience, obviously. Getting called a mark in 2023 is devastating. But he is. He is a mark. If he if he eats the bait, he's a mark. Do I think he's eating the bait? No, I think he's deliberately and willingly eating the bait in the sense that he can make some content out of this, some drama out of this. Anyway, I don't really care. He, yeah, he followed him back. Uh, who cares? Whatever. Uh, I, I think that, like, uh, uh, Felix is uh, definitely smarter than he actually... He's definitely smarter than he actually, uh, you know, presents himself as. And I think it's like deliberate. You know, I'm not going to baby him on this shit. I saw the replies. You didn't get the ratio. It is what it is. What can I say, man? Literally fell off. Literally got ratioed by Tate. That's an XL Tate W. That's a common, common Tate W letter. Right there. That is pretty common. Unlike, I guess, um, 31 months. All right, boys, I'm guess XQC knows how to farm just until it becomes too crazy. No, I think he knows how to farm and then go overboard and let it be too crazy. But it ultimately won't matter because, you know, he has uh, legions of fans that will always defend him across the board. And that also, uh, and will fight his battles for him across the board as well. Remember when you thought you could save Aiden? Bro, I can't save anybody, okay? There is no saving any anyone. I, I, I'm done. I, I'm off that shit. There is no, I can't. I can't, like, try to be uh, chill and, and try to be nice to Aiden and see if it works that way. Ultimately, if I had more clout, I think that's it. That That's the only way that this shit would work. But I don't because my haters work double time, overtime, nonstop. Uh, and, you know, they're they're popping, they're blasting TikToks. XQ lets his fans say you were a part of the cover-up. He doesn't give a what cover-up. No, he, I, no, that that part is. Um, You know, I'll always try. I'll give, the, give it an honest try, an honest go at it. But, like, uh, I am not, the, the reality is, like, I'm not clouded enough, I th I don't think. I think that this is part of the reason. Because, like, what? XUC's, uh, what? Andrew Tate's advice, XUC's, go to the gym every day. Yeah, no shit. I say that every day. I do that every day. I live it, and I try to get people to do it. But the very same people that would look to Jordan Peterson and go, oh, my God, it's revolutionary. I started cleaning my room, would literally look to their same parents and go, you mom and dad i don't want to clean my room it's just like there's nothing you can do for certain people it's just something clicks what clicks in that regard usually uh for kids for young children especially is is um uh, misogyny <laughs> you're way more clever than x in the real world no 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 that doesn't matter excuse you on his divorce art yeah x you see the youngest victim of divorce court here's what he said dead like the the eminent booba the eminent booba enjoyer okay literally the horniest like the the bazonkers guy who we all know what his tiktok likes look like okay he can't get 1810 so what is he doing instead of focusing on breaking Thorson's record instead of trying to go fast he's just he's just uh, you know drama baiting bro listen, 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 listen. i'm sorry i respect all creators i do i think that i just think that buying only fans shit is what i think is one of the most Degenerational action of a mankind. 
This is the biggest says you I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. Okay. I have never seen a bigger says you moment. I don't even think he believes it personally. Sometimes I think he just says shit that comes out of his mouth. And it's just like, he said it's degenerate to pay for OnlyFans. I, I assume in the most charitable, in the most charitable interpretation of this, I'm going to go ahead and assume that he means, he means like, oh, it's degenerate to pay for it when it exists for free. Now, this is hilarious for like multiple reasons. It's still so funny being a wealthy adult man and still hold the thought that like buying porn is cringe. Okay, dude, you sound like you're making a Justin Bieber gay type joke 15 years after kids were doing that. Grow up nerd. Yeah, bro, that. But also, you're a Twitch streamer. Like, we literally make this content for free, and people still give us $5 a month to avoid the top-of-the-hour ad breaks. So, considering that to be the generational dude is hilarious, okay? Subbing to an OnlyFans makes far more sense than subbing to a Twitch streamer. OnlyFans, you get titties at least. Twitch streamer, you might get a shout-out. Yeah, you're not. Like, you... you're not. You're literally not even getting a shout-out. Like, maybe if you fucking gift subs, but that's it. And even then, if it's too much, I tell you, stop gifting subs and I stop reading them. You know what I mean? I'm sure Felix doesn't even do that for the gifted subs because he has even more subs than I do. He probably doesn't even thank the gifted subs, right? Nah, people paying for only uh, fans content are coping. Brother, people pay for a million different things on the internet. You yourself are paying as a subscriber, one and a half year subscriber of mine. You're literally subscribed to me for a year and a half for content that is not only free, but it's so fucking free, you could literally take the IP and make your own YouTube channel and make money off of it, okay? That's how fucking free 99 this shit is, which is always laughable that people still yell at me about socialism, by the way, or whatever. But, like, you're doing it because you enjoy the content. You're doing it because you want more of it. You're doing it because you want to show support, right? Or a million different reasons. But this is the most fucking free content you can get on the internet, pretty much. And yet people still do it. The only reason why you consider the OnlyFans payment to be degenerate, despite the fact that there's so much free porn out there, is because it's sex work. It's the sexual component that makes it degen. But it's, which leads me to my second part of this conversation, which I find very funny, which is that XQC is the king of degens. I mean, he has called himself the king of the rats in the past. XQ trying to say that people buy OnlyFans for the girlfriend aspect of it, which is degenerate, meaning he would rather have uh, people jerk off the online porn. Yeah, that if that's the case, and I, th I would say that there's the most charitable interpretation, there is an element of truth to what he's saying there. Because yes, if you think that like you're actually in a relationship, because I've talked about this before as well. Um, uh, there is, uh, like I've, I've, I've opened up the fucking hood and looked under the engine. Uh, of how OnlyFans operates. And there are a lot of sad motherfuckers out there. It's it's basically like the same element of like therapy that exists in, in uh, old school prostitution or escorting. This is like a very real thing. If you look at different cultures, if you look at like geisha, for example, uh, it's not necessarily just about like sexual gratification, but there is a, a, a an element of like therapy that is included in that. And I think a lot of people utilize OnlyFans for that reason. Now, of course, under capitalism, uh, that shit is like uh, uh, clearly very much outsourced to uh, a uh, a dude working in an in Indian bot farm. So you're not actually talking to the content creator. I know for a fucking fact that that's not the case. Opening up the hood is a funny way to say you paid for someone's OnlyFans. No, I... I have been very open about this. Like, I, I don't have an OnlyFans account. It's it's pure convenience for me. Like, I'm just too lazy. Um, I, I, I meant, like, I've seen the other side from uh, way back in the day when I was hooking up with a girl that does OnlyFans. I remember looking at her uh, indirects and looking at her, like, DMs and messages, uh, going through it, and having a, a, a long and, and draw, almost drawn-out conversation about, like, how insane they would become if they actually handled, uh, like, if they actually truly were the people responding to it. Because a, a lot of the people say insane shit. I've been a sex worker for years, and most of the people who message me just want to talk. Yeah, there's that. But then there's, like, real freaks out there, too. So on that front, if you truly think you're getting a girlfriend experience, because there are a lot of people who are unfortunately very unhealthy, uh, there are a lot of people who literally think that they're talking to the uh, OnlyFans girl themselves. I'm sure certain OnlyFans uh, content creators are personally handling their uh, their messages and whatnot, but for the most part, 
especially all the top dogs, they're not the ones who are responding to the messages. And the unfortunate reality is that there is an element of like sadness, a lot of sadness there. Honestly, watching porn is a DGM, but are paying for it. Now you just have a mental illness, in my opinion. No, why is... Wait, see, this is what I mean. Like, What do you mean watching porn is degenerate, but paying for it? You have a mental illness, Lamau? <laughs> That's insane. No, I, I do not agree with this. The presumed emotional labor that has to be done by women, or just sex workers in general, it's not always just women, but um, it is it is one aspect of... of uh, I mean, it's a medium that serves a specific purpose, and that purpose is uh, sexual gratification, uh, I don't have an issue with it. I think that as long as it's done by, uh, you know, consenting adults, it's great. It's wonderful. Especially OnlyFans gives you more autonomy, even though there are uh, processes that kind of fuck that up as well with management firms and and uh, a litany of other complications that come from uh, not being able to, like, access your finances or not being able to bank adequately when you do this kind of content. But, but yeah, it's uh, it's ridiculous don't you agree that sites like OnlyFans and even webcam apps prey on vulnerable men i'm pro sex work but still see this is my favorite type of of uh this is my favorite type of like critical of sex work conversation because like the overwhelming majority of conversation that revolves around sex work basically features uh women uh, women being trafficked women being uh groomed women being uh harmed and then like going into sex work which there's a, obviously this does happen, but that's not sex work. That's sex trafficking. There's a totally separate classification for it, but it's always from the perspective of like how it, it, it predates women, right? I love when someone comes in and goes, it preys on vulnerable men, actually. Have you thought about the vulnerable Johns? Have you thought about the vulnerable men that are like, you know, they, they, they just can't stop themselves from fucking masturbating furiously? I hate this idea that men are vulnerable to women's sexual charms. Yeah, I don't agree with that. There is an element of, of like, if you truly think that the person that you're giving, you know, $5 to see, like, titty pics from, or the person that you're sending specific messages to to, like, make a specific kind of video for you and you only, remember that, like, those girls will take that video, send it to you, because the management firm will be like, this guy's a big guy, this guy's a whale, Okay. Please film this for uh for this dude who's like giving you you know a lot of money, and then they will mass they will fucking literally send it to everyone else as well. I'm just letting you know, Lamau, no, not me. Okay, everybody does it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, AC was also trying to make the main point of the only reason why people sub to the OnlyFans is for the girlfriend experience. If you didn't want that experience, then you could just jerk off to any hot girl online. No, uh, that's not true. I think a lot of girls, literally. First of all, that's not true. There's plenty of fucking content creators on OnlyFans that don't do uh, content elsewhere. So that's the reason why I'm fairly certain. That's the reason why people go on OnlyFans. There is a personalization component, certainly, which is why I mentioned that. And I do think that that is one aspect of it that uh, people should... Uh, that's one aspect of it. The the personal uh, like feelings that you are developing for a content creator is not real that's what i'm saying how would he explain all the men that do only fans including straight male porn stars that have their only fans and fuck female porn stars on it exactly only fans as far as i understand it is great for kink it's great for queer uh stuff and it's it's great for like highly uh like it, it's great for other specialized fields and it's also a lot of exclusive content that you get um it's it, it's funny that i'm the one who's like caping for it because I'm not a user of OnlyFans. I'm just a straight Pornhub, sometimes B-E-E-G.com kind of guy. You know what I mean? Like, I literally am just like, I'm such a vanilla masturbator. It's not even fucking funny. So it's kind of funny that it's like, yeah, I, I basically Google boobies. And yet I'm here defending OnlyFans from the perspective of sex workers. Because I have a lot of friends that do OnlyFans. And I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen the other side of it more so. From the perspective of, like, a person who legitimately thinks that they're in a relationship with a content creator, yes, it is very sad. It's not the case. And they need to fucking recognize that immediately. Of mankind. Like, actually. Like, like legitimately. It is one of the most deliberate, life, backpedaling, progress, hindering, brain rotting activity that anybody's ever come up with. Them. Again, incredible that, like, XQC is saying this because like you are a peddler of brain rotting activity so am i so am i 
it's like it, it's wild. He's on this like anti sex work arc. I don't even understand because he's not even anti sex work from what I understand. I, I would I would talk to him about it. I would love to hear his perspective on the matter. Does he think it's new? That's what people have been paying prostitutes in the beginning of time. Yeah, exactly. Like, I just don't understand how he can. I'm confused. I'm not even like doing the, oh, it's the hypocrisy argument, right? Like, obviously that shit's funny. Like the hypocrisy of it is funny. But for me, it's more so about like, how do you not recognize? Like, how can you not empathize with uh, sex workers in that same regard? Because like what we do is is the service that we provide is like not all that fucking different. Obviously, there's no sexual component to it. Am I rot your brain even more? Actually, yeah, I do have a problem. No, I saw this. I mean, this is a meme. I do this shit too, yeah. so who cares? <laughs> that that part I don't give a shit about. He's going. He's doing the groundwork to have a go-to counter whenever anyone brings up gambling. Yeah, I think that's basically what's happening as well. Whenever a male creator comes out hating OnlyFans girls, I know that they just got their heart broken. No, like. I don't even think he hates OnlyFans content creators. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Your Rage chimed in and defended him a little bit. He said, I don't know why people are surprised with this take. Normal people have always rose. Uh, normal people. People have always been rosy for buying porn. This take is normal to the average person. I don't know why we're acting brand new now. More and more people are starting to buy porn. So there's way more people that feel offended by this is my idea. I don't know. XUC ain't saying nothing wrong, though. Uh, submit to buying uh do submit to buying porn to fulfill themselves that are putting the work to actually meet people irl shit crazy bro if one day i was extremely horny enough to the point where i needed to buy porn i gotta just hold them subliminal rows because it's all facts after and after that nut is busted you should 100 percent realize it's all facts because after you bust you just straight logical um uh, i have no issue with people that want to buy it i say this as someone who ironically doesn't even fucking have an only fans account like i've never bought only fans i i but, like, I get why people would do that. I also don't know why people will fucking... I mean, I hear this from Swerfs a lot. Well, they'll be like, I'm not against sex workers. I'm against Johns, right? People who purchase sex work. Some of those guys are fucking freaks, certainly. You know why? Because they're dudes, okay? Dudes are freaks regardless. Having said that, whenever people go, oh, I'm against Johns, it's like, okay, so what do you want? You want, like, sex work to not be consumed then? Like, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Like, so how, how will sex workers exist then if no one is like, uh, able to pay for it? What the fuck do you mean? It's just a way to basically say you don't want sex workers to exist, but in a way that like makes you seem more woke and not as like openly anti-sex work.